Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tag Separate channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to enable activity stream to OCI logging. So this is one of the important, important thing which we really know when we work with the Oracle integration. So guys, before I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. One more useful information, I have written a book on Oracle Visual Builder, which will help you to learn Oracle Visual Builder very quickly, which is a like, which is like a low code development tool. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, you can buy this book and here you can go to this link https colon slash slash fact.live slash 3mwsnr7, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. Okay, so let's get started and understand the activity stream to OCI logging, what it is actually. Okay, so when you, uh, when you create integration and you start executing them, there will be an activity stream which will be generated, which you can see on the OCI, OIC monitoring dashboard. But there's a limitation of this activity stream that will be retained as per the retention period you define in a OIC settings. But what if you want to view those activity stream after the retention period, like you wanted to see that activity stream after a one month, two month, three month or so, how you will view that logs or the activity stream, which is very important to analyze the logs after a certain period of time. So Oracle allows to push the OIC activity stream to the public OCI logging service. So Oracle Cloud Infrastructure has one specific logging service wherein you can push that OIC activity stream logs to that service to maintain the logs for historical purposes and to analyze them when required. So these, this logging service will be very helpful to analyze the logs in future. The OCI logging service, what is that OCI logging service? So it's like a one service provided by OCI. It's like a highly scalable and fully managed logging environment. Okay. So when, so you don't need to push that activity stream manually. So you have to enable that activity stream so that it can be forwarded to the OCI logging service. So while you enable that OIC activity stream, by default, 30 days of activity stream can be persisted, but you have an option to persist them up to six months without any cost. So as and when the integration will get, will get hit, all the activity stream will be saved into the OCI logging service automatically. And you can open that logging logs and then you can analyze the activity stream and even you have a lot of filters which you can apply to filter that logs i will show you there are other ways for example you want to persist the logs for longer period let's say one year two years or three years okay there are other ways using which you can persist the logs for a longer period and store them in object storage like oci object storage or third party storage if you want so that logging service is going to be very helpful to store those activity stream and you analyze it in, in future. So let's switch to the OCI console and see how we can enable it for the OIC instance. So what I'm going to do, I am going to show you my OCI console and this is one of my instance which I have created. Okay, if you want to enable that activity stream, you should have access of that OIC instance and you should have a privileges to update that instance. So this is my OIC instance. So this is the OCI console. You have to uh, click here and you have to go in a logs. So here you see categories, activity stream, status is blank, log name is blank, log group is blank. And this is very simple to enable. You simply need to click here. When you will click, it will show you this uh, 
dialog box wherein you need to choose a compartment wherein you want to forward that activity stream. You can use the same in which your OIC instance resides or you can choose another compartment. So logging log, there will be a log group will be created for you or you can select the existing group. If you don't have, you can simply go ahead and then create a new log group and the name will be default group. But let's say I'm saying OIC broad group. Okay, so there's a group will be created and under that, this is the activity stream with this name will be created. So under this group, there's the OIC prod. Okay, this is the instance name underscore activity stream will be created under this group. Okay, I will show you where this log group will be created. And by default, it is for one month, like 30 days. If you want to increase the retention period for two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, you can do that. So let it be for one month for time being and simply say enable log. Okay, so it will take few minutes to enable that log. And here it is showing the creating log name OIC prod 01 underscore activity stream. If you want to change, you can change it. And the log group is OIC underscore prod underscore group. So let's see where this log group and then log name will be created. You can click here on this hamburger menu and then go to this observability and management. And under this, we have log groups under logging service. Log groups, and you can even create that log group here and then select from that option. Okay, and here you see OIC prod group, okay. Click here and here logs and you see OIC plot 01 underscore activity stream. Log type is service and details is integration category is activity stream. So that is in creating state. Or if you want to come here directly from that page, so you can go there, integration. You can come here and then logs and you can also click here that will take you to the same page in a different tab let this to be open and here you see oic pro01 activity stream okay now you're on this page let this to be created and then we'll hit few instances of the integration and then we'll show you let this to be created Okay, so here you see, this is active now. And now you can come here and you see past five minutes, we don't have anything. You can click on this explore log and here you see I am on this OIC Pro01 activity stream. As of now, I don't have anything here. Okay, nothing. So let's do one thing. Let's try to hit some integration here. I have this integration. And let me go to this body and let me simply go ahead and then test it. Once you will test, it will show you this instance ID 400165. And here it is my complete activity stream. So this activity stream will be forwarded into my OCI logging. Let me just try to hit one more time. Let's say 0 and 3. You, oh. New one two three. Okay, what happened to this amount is like this. Okay, very good. And let's see test. Okay, this time it is four double zero one double six. Let's try it to. Let's come back here and let's again just navigate from here and there. And you see of the last five minutes, I have received this, okay? And you can also see of last 15 minutes, last five minutes, here we have this activity stream, okay? So this has been captured here. You can come here and maybe only one, uh, only one instance activity stream has forwarded as of now. It will come soon. And I hope I have received it. Uh, no, not now. Let me say oldest. Let me say newest. 
Okay. Five zero three. No, I have not received the received the activity stream of the second instance, but that's fine. It will come soon. Okay. So now here you see the complete activity stream. Let me show you from the scratch. You see request received by rest. You can see here message created, message processed by trigger rest. So same thing like request received by rest. You can expand this and here you can see 400165, but it is of 400166 and it, it, this belongs to the previous one. Okay, you can see request received by rest, operation, operation name is executed, who has executed this integration. So compartment ID, instant, ingested time, logging group ID, log ID, it's like a log details. And then execute and here, if you see, you can see under message, you can see the data as well. Okay, you see amount one, two, three, is stage blank, op ID is blank, op name is blank. You can see the complete data here as well. It is coming because you have enabled the payload, okay, tracing. And you see entering into the scope, exception handler. Okay, everything is here. Now let me try to refresh this and see if I have received it. Yeah, here you see I have received for the second one as well. Okay, 503 and 504. So if you see, I have three pages now. Okay. On a single page, you can see 20. Okay. Right. And now let's try to filter it. Okay. Let's suppose I want to filter basis on that instance ID. So you can simply say explore with log search. And here you can see custom filter. You can simply say instance ID and then equals, and it will show you the instance ID to you automatically, or you can simply enter it here. Let's say 400166. Oh, instance ID for double zero one double six. Okay, you can select from here and you see the data will be filtered out related to the, you see I have 24 log, okay, matching with the instance ID. Okay, and if I show you here, you see uh, four double zero one double six. Okay. And now if you wanted to filter out basis on the flow identifier, you can do this as well. Let's say flow identifier equals, it will give you the suggestions as well. Select it here and you can simply close it. And you see we have 48 means 24 of the one instance. Okay. So I have activity stream from the same flow instance ID. Now, if you wanted to search like uh, something like notify, okay, let's say data dot message equals, let's say notify, okay, or let's say email notification sent successfully. If you want to count, okay, click here, email, and you see email notification, it's only equals email, okay, you see email notification sent successfully. You can see email notification set, sent successfully. It is from it is from 400165. And this will be for 400166. Okay. You can filter more. You can do data, action name, and message, user ID. You let's suppose you wanted to see based on the user ID. You see this guy so everything is from that user only okay you have more data action name instance id you have a lot of things let's say what else we have so all we have here subject time type everything is here ID, operation name, message, flow identifier, instance ID, endpoint type, action type, action name. You can do with the action name as well, like notify, log, logger. Okay. We have everything. Let's say notify. You can remove that filter. You can see notify. These are from the notify action. So this is how you can forward your activity stream to the OCI logging service and you can 
filter your activity stream using that custom filters option. That is very helpful, guys. So uh, that's all about this, guys. I hope you like the like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can follow me on LinkedIn. Twitter, Facebook, you can also see my blogs, https colon slash slash www.taxover.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.